pasa gente? Bienvenidas, bienvenidos a los jugos de Tito Mor, yo soy Mor, estamos aquí con Genshin Impact en el vídeo anterior, si os acordáis, habíamos resuelto la visión secundaria esta, que nos habían dado un tesoro, entonces vamos a ver las armas, si se pueden, nos han dado una super espada nueva, esta es la que tenemos, es esta, 48 de ataque básico y 7,7% de ataque, y esta es eh, <ríe> daño crítico. 4 estrellas, 3 estrellas Bueno, nos han sacado de la mazmorra porque se acabó el tiempo Estaba pensando yo las espadas y tal Me gusta todavía un poquito más la que llevamos Entonces se la vamos a dejar a Moria Y la nueva se la vamos a poner a, a Kaguya A, Ka, a Coella Coella Caella, Caella A ver qué tal Que creo que es mejor que la que lleva él Vale, y ahora sí o sí, vamos a ver qué otra misión se puede... ¿Qué otra misión se puede hacer? Eso que era un cangrejo, que era eso, macho. No sé cómo... ¿Qué es eso? Es un cangrejo. Bueno, a ver qué misiones hay. Estamos muy mal de vida, ¿eh? Muy pero que muy mal Bueno, pues en el anterior, si os acordáis, que peleamos contra el golem ese, me quedé... Estaba tan, tan absorto en el combate que se me pasó el tiempo completamente y se me fue a, a una hora el vídeo. La verdad es que a medida que voy jugando más, me va gustando más este juego. Como ya os dije, empecé con... Bueno, a ver qué tal. Los primeros pasos, bueno, está bien, está, pero a medida que voy jugando, me va gustando más. It's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a, gl a gliding license. Oh, isn't it obvious? You gotta have a. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. Y me lo dices ahora. Yeah, o sea, que, que ya he cumplido 200 leyes. Claro. <laughs> 
So, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue you... Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your... I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster... An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with it. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big... Wow, that's a big old book! Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> The Knights of Favonius Gla- When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, You have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Mira, pues una historia muy bonita. Una historia muy bonita, bonita. That's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Aprender a volar. Pues la verdad es que parece un cuento. Anyway. Vamos a mentir. Viento, coraje, alas. Hostia, 800 metros. ¿Dónde estás? Uh, ¿Dónde estás? Aquí. Prueba elemental. Ya me lo estoy imaginando. Vamos a tener que saltar desde ahí. Vamos a tener que saltar desde ahí. Como si lo viera, como si lo viera. Por cierto, un segundín, en el inventario tengo yo el manual este, de vuelo. ¿Esto qué es? A ver, a ver, ¿a dónde fue? No sé, aquí está el carmesí. Caminando con los dioses prólogo. Fuera, 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 fuera. Muy bonito, pero fuera. Recuperación de escrituras de piedra. Eh... Oh, pf, madre mía. Y 
luego tenemos otro libro que es Historia de los Reyes y los Clanes. Prólogo. Uy, bueno. Eh, pasamos un poquito del tema. Mira, un jabalín. Un jabalín. Un jabalino. Reed, you're here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been. Oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. Ah, pues eso parece chulo. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Vaya, anda que tú también. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed... How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh, this is... It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to... What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this... Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champ... Uh, but anyway, don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay, then. You just need to follow the marked route to the finish. La ruta marcada hasta el final. Vale, vamos a ver cómo... Sí. No llegamos. No llegamos. Así ah, que tenemos una corriente aquí. Aprovechando las corrientes. Eh. Uy. Aquí no. Lo hemos hecho bien, ¿no? Más o menos. You nailed it. <coughs> But it's no surprise given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Vale, pues vamos para allá. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting.
Bien, vamos a llegar, vamos a ver. Ahora vamos a tener que tirar desde lo alto de la catedral, seguro. Hey, here, over. I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the exam. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. Es que este es más complicado. Este no le he podido. Mira, Amber y Amber. Este está muy bien. Eh... You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready, let's keep a firm grasp on the wind glider and let the wind. Es que no entiendo muy bien dónde hay que dónde hay que entrar por los aros. marca aquí, no sé por qué. Ah, que estábamos aquí ya, vale, vale. 
Oh, eh. Y yo me pongo a dar vueltas y vueltas. Seems like you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. No, por Dios. Easy. You've flown this way before, any. Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be. Just keep thinking about that license. Get ready for the gliding champion of Botstad. Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. What's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his pa- Raptor? Who- A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his- Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him in, but he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the- But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up- Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Bueno, pues nada, o sea que Por cierto, tenemos que resucitar a Moria, que la pobre está más tiesa que la mujer mar. Vale, ¿y cómo se resucita? A la peña. Ah, revive un personaje. Vale, vale, vale. Hugo frito de Teibat. Ay, mira, coleccionista de insignias Anemo. La vamos a coger porque está a 95 metros. Welcome. Every treasure. <laughs> yep. There's. <laughs> What did I tell you? These are. Is there anything that catches your eye? No need. I forgot to mention. I operate on a. Tr I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of. An Do you have any animo sigils with you? 
It seems the animal archon are more to the point. Any animal sigils you find, you can trade in here for items in the shop. Vale, tenemos 40 insignias anemo, ¿no? El límite de compra, pedacito de ágata agnidus. Material de mejora de personaje. Fragmento de azulejo de Decarabian. Ascensor de arma. Va, vale, pero de momento no me voy a comprar nada porque no sé qué, qué comprar. Prototipo de espada del norte. Mira, 1600 moras. Bueno. Animo sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you find yourself short, just absolutely. What could be more? <laughs> okay, you. It's actually more complicated than that. But it's obviously the reason I need animo sigils is because they have properties that other materials cannot provide. <laughs> of course. Do come again soon, and bring. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful trut. Ah, bueno, mira, tampoco está muy lejos, que digamos. ¿Y esta exclamación qué es? A ver. en una casa que hay por aquí seguimos recto hasta la última casa Vale, que esta es la esta. Vale, 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 vale. La que no podíamos abrir. Entonces, puesto que esto está aquí, nos vamos a ir aquí. Y seguimos todo recto. Trocotrón, trocotrón, trocotrón. Tío, nos podían dar un caballo, ¿eh? O un dragón o algo. Que lo del correr está bien, pero hombre.
las músicas están bien, las melodías y cómo van cambiando según estás en un sitio o en otro. Eso está interesante. Esto es una torre de esas, ¿no? De las estatua de los siete. Que pasa que, que no tengo a Necromo, un modo más de esos. Ay, mira, un teletransportador. Vamos a ello. Y aquí esto es una aldea, ¿no? Eso sí que aprovechemos un poco para hablar con esta peña, ¿no? Ahora que los tenemos aquí. Bueno, pues si encontramos a la hada, se lo diremos, caballero. Ay, esas se pueden... Esas son... Estatuas... Dendra, ¿no? De tierra. Vamos, pero es que no sé qué eso hay que usar. Bueno, vamos a seguir investigando esta zona, a ver qué hay por aquí. Unas casas ahí. Hola. Quiero hablar con Brook. ¿Eh? No se puede hablar con Brook.
is Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. You! Yes! You! Come over here. Ooh! Hey! What do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. Oh! Paimon knows! It's from a frame of a wing glider! Therefore... There are no elemental traces on it. <sighs> it looks yes, like it's just a plain old tree branch. of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wing glider is broken. Vale, ya la he visto. Estaba. Os estaba hablando, diciendo chorradas como siempre, pero tenía el micro apagado, como suele ser habitual en mí. Marca elemental. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Cómo sabemos si esto fue dejado por un raptor o un animo slime? Animo slimes son criaturas creatures. No dejan marcas en la tierra, a menos que alguien se ha tomado uno para ir a volar. ¿Cómo sabemos si esto fue dejado por un raptor o un animo slime? De cualquier manera, vamos a hacer una mental nota de estas marcas. Son muy claras. Parece que las elemental marcas apuntan de esta manera. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. <laughs> Thank goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. 
The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but... Hilly Churls? But I thought the Knights of Avonius had cleared out most of the Hilly Churl camps. It's a small camp not too far from the village. The route I take on my delivery runs ensures... But today... Vale. Some crazy fellow suddenly <sighs> fell out of the es, sky and... Mm, nah. oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Funny-looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that. Heavy object? The artifact? Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the... Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest... Venga, vale. Nosotros, pan donde? Pan donde vamos? Pan ya? ¡Cuidado, me has congelado! Ahí va, congelado. Empiezan a complicarse los enemigos, eh. Dios, estos. Me han puesto, pero a caldito divino. But we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget these guys. Come on, let's keep following the elemental markings. Sí, olvídate de estos tíos. Por no veas la mini paliza que me han dado. Bueno, es por aquí, entendemos. Huh. Look where we are. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. 
Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minion. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! Misión completada. El estilo. Encuentra el escondite de Averrapaz. Ah, que es una cueva, ¿no? Vale, es una... A ver cómo vamos... Nada, lo vamos a dejar por aquí ya, gente. En el próximo seguimos y entramos en la cueva de Averrapaz. Espero que os haya gustado. Sed buenas, sed buenos, sed felices. Un saludín, chao, chao.